Hello there, internet dwellers. Welcome back to another video. Today, we are reacting to Project Britannica Renovations by Jack G Animations. This is a continuation of the series Project Britannica. Jack is a fantastic creator and a lot of attention to detail goes into the series and the story itself is amazing. In this one, we learn a little bit more about what happened to the person who died in the elevator in 1988. And although it gives us more questions than answers, it's still pushing the story forward and and it is a really, really good video. So without further ado, let's jump into this. Oscar M. Stainthorpe, last seen February 26th, 1988, North Shields, Tynemouth Road, PB. That's a nice shot, I like that. We haven't got many of it. We haven't got a shot like this in the whole series so far except maybe at the like last video not the last video but the one before that when that person went missing from the room um so this is like what ship is this i guarantee someone will know what ship that is just from the way it looks Oh, okay. They're doing like an as above, so below kind of thing. I like that. I like, I like, like shots like this, where it flips everything upside down. Oh, that's lovely. That I like that. Cinematography was lovely there, and the sound design really nice. Tape, uh, Stainthorpe expose. Author A. Scythia. Scythia. Audio ripped from cassette tape recorded match 1988. Thank you for attending this evening, Mr. Walker. Mr. Walker. It now appears that things have escalated. Mm -hmm. The spore attack aboard SS Olympic has raised concerns within the government about the legitimacy of our operations to contain the spores. Spores. And to ultimately reduce the likelihood of this thing becoming public knowledge. Oh. The board and I have ultimately decided to continue with our goal of pursuing our efforts aboard the Olympic. As our safest ship of the fleet, we intend to continue on with our live experimentation plan. But for the foreseeable future, we have decided to close the Olympic to the public until full renovations and extermination are complete on right. the public decks. Okay, and this must be part of the whole, like, turning it into a hotel thing. But wasn't that in 1996? This was 1988, so I'm guessing they're still renovating. This means the eradication of all visible mesh structures above E-deck and the containment of the mesh to the boiler and engine rooms. And the okay, so what they're saying here is they're not completely eradicating it because they obviously can't get down to the boiler room or whatever to eradicate it. So they're saying anything above E-level, get rid of it. Um, cause then I guess it's not in the way of the, the public can't see it. Hang on, let me go back. This means the eradication of all visible mesh structures above E-deck and the containment of the mesh to the boiler and engine rooms. And containment of the mesh. So the mesh is being contained in the, in the boiler and engine rooms. Interesting. And I'm guessing that's why they shut off access. The interior of funnels three and four. The museum has been closed since February 27th and will remain so until the cleanup operation, interior renovations, and eventual eradication is complete. Okay. How long this will take, we don't really know. Well, okay. We'll have a 24-hour security team on the site until the ship is reopened to make sure no one gets aboard. Brilliant. Our plan at the moment is to remove the visible structures and cart it back here to HQ. We can run many more tests on this stuff while getting rid of it from the Olympic. It's practically dead when removed from the ship's walls, so there's no risk of it attracting the transport lorries. Okay, well, I don't know if they're... Hmm, I don't Once know about that. Once eradication is complete, we can begin to renovate the Olympic. And as far as the public is concerned, we'll just give them the message that the ship is being renovated and will open in the years to come. When we're it takes about what? Ten, how many years? Eight years. We're back in operation, we intend to open the Olympic up, not just as a museum, but a full hotel. Okay. It'll get many more people in, and we can begin to see how this thing reacts to larger groups of people. Okay, so it's not completely eradicating it then. We've only seen this thing attack when provoked. Okay. Oscar shouldn't have been down there. Oscar. We've had the. 
Okay, is is Oscar the guy who I'm guessing it was the one from the 1988 one, right? When he's going down the elevator. Engine and boiler rooms is sealed off since 1911, and we've been wow. Okay, the, they've been sealed off since 1911. Is that since the... And that's on the Olympic? A problem like this on the Olympic before. Okay, well, well, I swear on the Mauritania, a kid died in the boiler room or the engine room or whatever. And that was that around the same time? So as long as the hotel guests are kept away from the engine rooms, we have nothing to worry about. Damn. You basically just, oh, there was something flashing there. Olympic toe to Newcastle. No apparent sign of life. Okay, was this when it was found by the Isle of Man or Isle of Wight? SS Olympic renovation scheme phase one. There's a whole timeline to this, guys, and I highly encourage you to go back to the other videos because there's this one person in particular who writes a timeline in order and they're very very helpful they might even be in this video so we'll have a look afterwards it's looking good so far okay they're putting in a carpet so this was before is this before right and then this is after i don't know what changed there the walls. Okay, that, that was carpeted. E deck. Okay, so everything above E deck has been wiped out of the mesh, but anything below that. Which I'm guessing... Does E stand for, like, engine deck? No. It was just, like, layers, right? I'm, I'm unsure. So this was the elevator where someone died in. In 1988. And potentially where the kid died as well. Very red. So this is kind of a homage to people who enjoy um, these ocean liners as well, because it gives you like insight into like the you know interior and stuff. Lets you live vicariously through. It is the Olympic. Okay. I'm going to just pause. February 26th, 1988, 11 30 p.m. North Shields. Can be. Give me one second, guys. So this. This was basically the, the night that the person, this Oscar person, went missing. Because this is February 26th, 11.30 p.m. Oscar gets attacked by this thing at 2.44 a.m. 27th of February. So this is the same night, so I'm guessing... Did he sneak on? Apparently he shouldn't have been there. But he's known. Now let me just see if that was a thing there. No, nothing there. Man, it does look beautiful though, doesn't it? Like, like I'm, I, I understand like what how the fascination of these things, just how big they are, and like the engineering and design that goes into them is phenomenal, for sure. Okay, this is 1:21 a.m. This is like an hour before Oscar, um, because let's let's put it together. Let's put it side by side. So 1:25 a.m. Oscar, I'm guessing his name is Oscar. Um, is on the ship 
125. This is 121. So Oscar's probably already in there at this at this time. And we're probably going to hear like screams maybe. Two. Is that a plane overhead? Here we go, 102. So this is from the perspective of I'm guessing this is Oscar, right? Yeah, let me just have a look. Oscar, yeah. Here we go. What were they doing on the ship? That's the question. What Were they meant to be here? Did they work for the ship? For the company? Are they just a random fan? Why is he recording random, like, little bits? He must be a fan. Or, like, he's looking for something. Yeah, 1.13am. Saloon. Okay. What's that? The light seems to be getting darker. What is that? Is that like a door closing or something? Oh no, that's him. Is that him with a flashlight? See, a lot of thought has gone into the timeline of this. Jack's obviously planned out the whole thing. And this is what I mean. I said in my previous video that you can give bits and pieces, but there's a certain way of doing it. And I believe this is a perfect way of demonstrating how to give little bits and pieces but still keeping your audience engaged in what's happening because you've got to spoon feed them or you got to give them something each episode that will make you think or keep you hooked He seems nervous, but I mean, that's the thing. This all makes me think that this isn't a worker here because they're very, like, he's not... It might be, but you're just not meant to be here. Okay, so this was where this bit comes in. Here. So... This is side by side, basically, at this point. Let's have a look. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This is side by side look. Okay, so maybe we're going to get more on what happened. Because if you remember, the camera just cuts randomly. And we hear him being chased by this, like, entity. And they say... They say the mesh only attacks when it feels provoked. So what the heck was this guy doing? What is that showing? Is that meant to be... What is that? That's no way is that meant his flashlight. How bright is this man's flashlight? Or camera light? Ugh. Missing one hour, 13 minutes. What? Footage is... Give me a sec. Let's go back. All right, let's look. The scale of this problem over 90. Those mountains, they've unleashed a monster. The Stainthorpe family have. Frankly, it's a miracle we're still here. Their hands, and I'm not sure that. Okay, let's go back. So where are we? Hot Springs. What is that there? That's the UK, I believe. Is it the UK? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So this was shown. This was a diagram that was shown before. Okay, and I'm guessing this is a close-up. Yeah, there's Newcastle right there. So this is in England. Okay. 
We're getting spoon-fed little bits and pieces. We're going to have to piece it all together, guys. That's the thing. So Oscar has pissed off this mesh somehow. Man, okay, 2.44 a.m. Oh, dear Lord. So this is the entity slamming Oscar's head into an elevator continuously. But you didn't actually see anything there. It's like... So what was it? What are we even looking at right now? What? Yeah, what are we looking at? Ugh, what is that? So that's obviously the dead body there, right? What is going on there? Wait, that looks like a person being like dragged down. Okay, 2.43 a.m., message one. Your call has been forwarded to an automatic voice message system. Oh, that sucks. At the tone, please record your message. When you have finished recording, you may hang up or press one for more options. That would infuriate me. You've got a, like a desperate message to say and like the freaking answering machine itself takes about 30 seconds before you can leave a message. Jeez, was that Oscar with their last dying breaths ringing up somebody? Or was that the this freaking ghost of this child? What did Oscar do? Is this going to be another copyrightable song? You have to mute it, guys. I want to know what this, like, entity thing is. If it's, like, a physical being that comes out or if it's just, like, in control of certain parts of the ship. Like, if the mesh itself brings the ship to life and can control stuff like the elevated doors or if that was an actual or physical entity. Um, so we're still on the Olympic. Is this Oscar going into the light? What's happening? What? What is this? Is this okay? That's the Olympic. What date are we at right now? I love this render. Really nice. Project Britannica by Jack G Animations. What did Oscar do? Because they say that this thing doesn't do anything unless provoked. How do you provoke this thing? Now we're just getting some, like, 
nice 3D renders of this place. What is it with this freaking like chandelier thing? It's not, well, it's not a chandelier. It's kind of a chandelier, but it's not. They've shown that a couple of times. Dear friend. Dear friend. That's a that's an interesting point actually. Someone here said, um, "How do they run the ships if the mesh is in the engine rooms? Is the mesh running the ship since they've sealed Olympics engine room since 1911?" Interesting. Yeah, that's a very interesting. I never thought about that. How the hell are they controlling these ships? Is it just one big experiment? They said they're they're like they, they say here that it has spores and they're doing live experimentations. What are the experiments that they're they're doing here? Because they obviously, it's obviously, this mesh is obviously a hive mind of some sorts because it's it's transferring. Because they said that once it's removed from the ship, it dies, basically. But we know that's not true because the Mauritania obviously had this first, and then the Olympic, and then I believe the Lusitania had it as well, and Titanic had it as well. So it's a network of mesh that's being transferred from one to the other. That's what's happening right now. So the theory that once you take it out off the ship it dies i don't think that's true i also want to know what happened in that kind of time between the the last recording we saw oscar do and like him being basically killed by this like what was he doing what happened there the thing about like series like this is that they'll give you an answer to something or they'll give you more of something but then you'll, you'll be left with more questions like my biggest question is what is this mesh itself because we know it's, it's physically capable of like you know, slamming this elevator door continuously. Is it an actual entity or can it control parts of the ship? And is it killing people adding to its mesh? Because it's obviously not all bad because what's his name in the last, the video two videos ago survived. He was in the Lusitania shipwreck in 1911 or whenever it was. And then he survived all the way up until 19... The 1980s so they are they held him in some kind of cryogenic stasis uh, i don't know how to say that you know what i mean they just kind of held him in time and he didn't age and then he kind of must have woke up in the 80s at some point so i mean this thing isn't all bad so whatever oscar was doing obviously infuriated it to the point where it wanted to kill him and what this thing is, we still don't know where it came from, but I think it's something to do with the Mauritania and the, the kid that was found, I think it was in the engine room or the bottom of an elevator shaft, one of the two. And I believe it's like a vengeful spirit maybe of that he was never found or he he wasn't found properly and he wants to get revenge on whatever. But then again, that wouldn't make sense because if that was the case, it would just be killing basically everybody, but it's not killing everybody. It's just in charge of the actual ships itself. Well, there we go, guys. That was Project Britannica Renovations, a fantastic analog horror series. You guys should definitely go check out Jack G Animation's channel. Go watch the videos for yourself. They're really, really good. A lot of effort goes into this and the story is really coming together now and I really enjoy it. If you guys enjoyed my reaction, why not leave a like rating down below, subscribe, all that good stuff, and I will see you guys in the next video. Take care, guys.